Hey, Coach Alex Dodd from the Clemson Insider. Could you think of a better way to, to open up your team's first NCAA tournament than the way you did today? Yeah, Alex, uh, just a special day for our program and our first postseason game. Obviously, a lot of great performances, starting with Valerie Nagel in the circle. Four innings pitched, uh, 10 strikeouts. You know, she's just, uh, you know, she had all her stuff working today and, and uh, pitched extremely well. And then, you know, for us, for offense to get going a little bit after getting shut down by Duke last week um, was, was really a relief. Uh, you know, get Logaleo up in a big situation with two outs in the first inning, and uh, for her to come through with that two uh, two strike two out home run was huge. Gave, gave everybody an opportunity to, to take a breath and relax a little bit. And then, of course, with uh, you know Valerie and Marissa, you know, next time through the lineup, hitting the back to back homers, um, you know, it's huge. Uh, Pie had a big double. Um, in that inning, and then for Valerie to come back and hit another two-run shot, both of them just lasers. Uh, the last one on the changeup was pretty special to watch. And just excited for our, for our coaches, our staff, and our players um, to get that first win in our postseason history. Hey, Coach Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, there are only two Power 5 pitchers with a better ERA than Valerie, only four with more strikeouts, only eight with more home runs, and 13 with a better batting average. How in the world does she not even make the top three for National Player of the Year? Well, you know, I mean, let's face it, the three players that are finalists are all outstanding players. You know, I think we're, we're biased a little bit because we get to, to, to watch Valerie pitch and play and – um, but, you know, really uh, for her just to be in the top 10 is remarkable in her, you know, second year of college, really, you know, her, her second freshman season is, is just phenomenal accomplishment for Valerie. Um, but I, I, I don't take anything away from the three finalists. I mean, certainly Valerie is a tremendous player and, and just to be in that top 10 is special. Hey, Coach, it's Zach Wagner with TigerNet. How nice is it to get uh, Millie in there and get her some innings and uh, kind of save Valerie's arm for maybe later in the weekend? It's huge. You know, we, we knew we had to get Millie's feet wet a little bit, and, and Reagan's got to be ready to go. And, and uh, you know, the, the opportunity presented itself where we could maybe give Val a couple innings of rest and, and hope our offense came through with a couple runs, which it did. Um, so, really, both of them, uh, you know, we got kind of two goals accomplished there. We got Valerie some rest. And we got Millie's feet wet, and she only had to pitch one inning. So I think she'll she'll probably be a little bit more relaxed in her next appearance if we need her. And I, and I know Reagan was ready to go there as well. You pleased with the way that your team channeled all of the emotions and really went out and made a statement today? Yeah, I mean, I'm really proud of the way we handle our emotions all year long, you know. And certainly you, you don't know how your team's going to respond in a big game like this because we've never been here. And, uh, you know, very proud of our, our effort today and the way we handled ourselves. And it sure helps to get a big run or a big home run early and get that lead and, and kind of helps us relax a little bit. Um, so we're, we're very proud of our effort and, and look forward to a, a great game tomorrow. After the, the bats kind of went quiet last weekend in the ACC tournament, how nice is it to, you know, get, the, get those four home runs and kind of get the offense uh, back sparked up? It's huge, you know, I think hitting's contagious, you know, and today proved that, you know, we got the big hit early and then, you know, when we hit home runs, we usually win and uh, today was, was no different. We got some big hits at some, some critical times and, and ended up putting the game away early, so that was nice. Hey, John, Mark Whiteman from WIFF. I'm sure you run out of superlatives at this point to describe Valerie, but how would you describe what she has meant to your team this year? You know, Mark, uh, Valerie is just a special talent, and, you know, you, you are just blessed to be able to watch her every day play the game of softball. You know, she can beat you in so many ways in the circle. You know, she's got velocity. She's got great off-speed pitch. She fields her position extremely well, you know, and then, you know, today she goes out when Millie comes in, and they hit a line drive to her, and she makes that play look easy, and you know, by the way, at the plate, she hits two two home runs, both of them lasers out of the park. So it's just a pleasure to watch her play and watch her compete. And to think that she's only a freshman and we get to watch her for three more years is, is pretty reassuring as a coach. What's your plan for this evening? Will you guys stay and watch the second game? Yeah, you know, 
the beauty of today's technology is we've got many different ways to scout. Um, you know, we, we have um, a lot of video on Alabama, and uh, we might stick around here and, and watch a couple innings um, for some reasons, you know, pertaining to scouting. But uh, we've got a, a pretty good worksheet on them, and, and we know they're an outstanding team, and we're gonna we're gonna really have to bring our A game tomorrow and. I know the crowd will be pretty ruckus here at Rhodes Stadium, so it'll be a great experience for our team. Right, time for how one more question. Was, how important was it to have Valerie come through for your team today in the circle and at the plate uh, to set you guys up for success? You know, any any time that you advance in postseason, it's special. You know, this is the time of year where every win is a big win. You know, and, and get this first one under our belt is huge. Um, gives us an opportunity um, to, to be in a position tomorrow to, to hopefully get one step closer to a regional championship. All right, up next we have uh, Aaliyah Logaleo. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Coach. And we'll uh, open it straight up to questions. Hey, Aaliyah, Alex Dodd from the Clemson Insider. How big was it for you to, to get things started off with the big home run, and, and what did you see on that pitch? Honestly, I had been battling pitches. She threw a lot of up pitches, and I, I figured, you know, maybe she leaves one out, and I've got to be able to produce for my team and get some runs in because we had runners on base, and that's really important when you have two outs to execute and get you no know, runs in. Aliyah Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Uh, what was more special to you, your, your 10 RBI day uh, up at Syracuse or hitting the uh, getting the first hit in Clemson NCAA program history? Uh, and not only that, but a home run to boot. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What, what was more special to you, your 10 RBI day up at Syracuse or, or getting the, uh, the first hit in Clemson program history in the NCAA tournament? Oh, definitely the first hit here. Um, 10 RBIs is fun. It would have been even more fun if it was in postseason, but postseason is where it counts. And to get the first hit here and first runs on the board, that was super special. Hey, Louis, Zach Wagner with TigerNet. Uh, what are the emotions like right now as you guys get your first ever uh, NCAA tournament win? Well, emotions are definitely a roller coaster, you know. Uh, from the selection show to now, our emotions have been up and down, sideways, anything from angry to really excited to nervous and this game really got all of our emotions settled and we're ready to play tomorrow we're ready to come out against whoever we face oh yeah after um, alex alex here how big was valerie Eagle for you guys today both in the circle and at the plate just really has been the anchor for this team a lot of times this year but to do it in the postseason you know, postseason, again, is huge. And for Valerie Kalu to come out and do what she does is amazing. And we have so much faith in her in the circle and as a hitter. It's amazing to have a two-way player like her, and she always comes out and produces for us. Aliyah, do you think after being shut out um, in your last game by Duke that just to, to come out quickly with, with the home run like you did in, in the first and really get the bats going was important? Absolutely. You know, we haven't had a lot of games where we get shut out. I don't know if we even had any. So that was a big motivation for us just coming out and, hey, they we didn't score at all last game. So we're going to come out and get as many runs as we can early. You feel like this was a statement game for you guys to come out and, and put some runs up after, like you said, all the emotions that you guys have dealt with in the last week with the anger and the frustration? Absolutely. This was, you know, our first postseason game, our first NCAA tournament game, and anything else. Um, we have a lot of firsts this year, and for us to come out on fire like we did, it was amazing and really indescribable. Got time for two more. How excited are you guys to be in the winner's bracket and, and get to face Alabama or Alabama State here tomorrow? You know, we're super excited. Um, we're going to come out with our A game no matter who we face. Uh, we're going to come out uh, guns blazing, and we're super excited to be in the winner's bracket. It's a tough route for any team here, so, you know, why not go out and give it all we got? Thanks, everybody. Appreciate